Hey everybody, I'm Schmirka Dabber, and welcome back to the Banner Saga. I'm here with Juno at the Godstone of Stravs. You glance nervously around, but the dredge don't seem to hear her. It's okay, you can speak, softly. Is this where you're going to sacrifice me? <laughs> Juno smiles. What could have come across as profoundly creepy looks sincere instead. No, the dredge cannot see us. To be more precise, they can see us, but I've convinced them to be unconcerned. I can understand your apprehension, though. Um... Why, what are we doing out here? Do you know of the god Straubs? Few know this stone exists, even amongst those who have lived their whole lives in Borsgard. Well, Dengler deals in fortune, Straubs taught men the value of trade in a different way. He showed them it has consequence, two sides of the same coin. See the silver in the stone. The gales up here wear away the stone, but the metal remains. We need a piece of this silver. The god Straubs is wreathed by imagery of silver weapons. The myths say he traded these weapons to the gods, and they used them to kill each other. Those who seek out the stone call him the god of trade. The menders call him the god of secrets. He was both. Um, why'd you pick me? Why didn't you take Ivan or Hakan? You don't even know me. I apologize for putting you in danger. Ivan must keep Borsgard from falling while we are away. And if something goes wrong here, I need to be certain one of us makes it back alive. I saw the thoughts of each person when I arrived at Borsgard. You were the only one I knew would return. What do you mean? You would find your way back to Alet, no matter what. Who are you? I wish we had had time for a proper introduction. My name is Juno. I am on the Mender Council. You've met Ivan, my apprentice. How are you doing these things? Controlling mines? I thought Menders built things and healed wounds. You were right. Menders do these things. Some of us still practice the teachings giving to the Loom Mother's first creations. We are called Valka. I believe I am the only one who can influence another's mind. Then why not take control of Bellower? I learned the talent to heal minds, not control them. Though even some Valka have trouble believing this. Taking control of Bellower it is the difference between convincing a child to sit still and telling a starving bear to stop being hungry. The truth is, we're rarely a match for the Sunder anymore. Our advantage is that we can train more Valka. It is also our weakness. The Valka pass on and lose their knowledge, while the Sunder simply grow older and more powerful. Bellower is both immortal and beyond my influence, to a point. Then how do we stop him? The God of Secrets will play a part, as will you. Why are we surrounded by Dredge? They seem to be drawn to the Godstone. There are many things we don't know about Stravs. Maybe they see him as a patron, or it is an attraction they cannot explain. Does Stravs have something to do with that serpent in Einertoft? What was that thing? I cannot say. Can't? I have my suspicions. But until I've had time at the Mender Libraries, it would be unwise to speculate. For all our knowledge, it seems uh, as though we know little. Imagine how the rest of us feel. On the contrary, the less people know, the more certain they tend to be. Uh, let's get what we need and go. Indeed, you'll need to dislodge at least a fistful of the metal. We will forge it into an arrow to slay Bellower. Wait, after everything you told me? Make a magic arrow to shoot Bellower, that's all it takes? Why didn't you do that a long time ago? Juno gets a faraway look in her eyes. No. That's not, uh, that's not all it takes. What I tell you now must not be repeated. The arrow will not kill Bellower, even if it were to strike his heart. He has no physical weaknesses. But it will sow doubt in his mind. When it pierces him, I will help him to believe that he is dying. The rest of you will convince him of it with sword and axe. Everyone who fights at your side must believe it to be true. You're going to trick him into thinking he's dead. That is the most... Ins he, he really can't be killed... No, someday he will awaken and realize he's not dead. I imagine he will be quite upset. First, we must make the arrow. Focus on the task at hand. All right. Rook, I'm not certain how the dredge will react when you do this. And behind us is a sudden drop, so be careful. Uh, is this going to be like a mini game? A silver collecting mini game. Great. All right. Press triangle to not die. Um, like, the two of us aren't going to fight the dredge, right? Like... What are they... What's going on here? Why... Why walk all the way to the ledge? Approaching the back of the stone, you start to climb, looking for a loose piece of silver. Even without looking out onto the dredge, you can feel each sinister face watching you closely, held back only by Juno's influence. Panic races through your blood. Um... Climb higher, where it may be easier to remove. As you climb, you can't help but notice the stony mass of dredge lined up before the godstone, like worshippers before the... an idol. Just a glimpse nearly immobilizes you. Your hand rests on a piece of silver that comes away easily. The dredge do not react. Uh, don't press your luck. Head back down. You nimbly descend to where Juno is waiting. Well done. As you walk back through the dredge, their heads turn in unison to follow. 
The dread that lingers and the shaking in your hands does not subside for hours. All right. Godstone Stravs. Hooray. Cool. Well, we've got the magic arrow that will convince uh, the Sunder that it is dead, I suppose. Um, and I guess we're going to go out and kick its ass soon. You approach the gates of Borsgard again, relieved they're still standing. It looks like they took a beating while you were gone. Alette rushes to your side and throws her arms around you once you've crept through the gates. Juno smiles at the reunion and tells you, Take this time with your daughter. Find a smith who can fashion an arrow from that silver. I have other things to which I must attend, but meet me on the walls when you are done. Um, heroes. Hot damn. I can actually look at my heroes. Heroes. It's time to level up someone, if we can. I hope. That would be nice. Um, oh, look at this. Uh, Rook, for instance, I could potentially promote. I have... Holy shit. I can do it. Um... Oh, and I've got these guys, too. Look at this. Luden is here. I've got Eirik. Moger is here. Oh, Moger. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. And Hakan. Okay. Uh, what is your skill, Moger? Bring the pain. Normal break attack and plus one to return the favor. Uh, return even more armor damage for one turn. Um, I don't know how good that is, but what are your stats? 14-14? That's pretty good. Um, ooh, Hakan. Hakan, Hakan. What does your ability do? Uh, plus one break, Sundering Impact. Plus one break to heavy impact. Plus one strength and plus one break. Plus one strength and plus two break. Um, oh shit. Do we have more items as well? Oh, we do. We've got some level five items. Oh my god. Um, Statue of a Sightless Man. Dodge attacks and plus two strength. I actually think I want that on Trigvi. So Trigvi, if you would, go ahead and take uh, this Statue of a Sightless Man. Um, you're crazy. It seems like something you'd like. 20% to dodge attacks and the plus two strength. Uh, keeps your strength quite good at 14. Um, okay, great. Uh, next up, who is going to be in my party? Oh my god. The choices, ladies and gentlemen. The choices. Um, I can level up. Well, we're going to use Ivor. That's for sure. I think we might... We're definitely going to switch somebody. Um, Bercy, what's your story? You're a Warhawk? Um... Warhawks do Tempest, okay. And Gris, what do you do? You do Battering Ram, so we definitely don't need Gris. I could level up Bercy twice for 25. Um, I think that's a bad plan. Um, I think... Oh, boy. We're going to use Hakan, right? 17 Strength, 12 Armor... Four, two, two. Is that exactly the same? Four, two, two. Um, okay, good. Yeah, we're definitely going to switch. We're going to use Hakan uh, for definites. Okay, we're also going to use um, Ivor for definites. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, Trigvi, you are, are absolutely in. You are so good. You've been good forever. Can I potentially use another giant? Um, I could. So I could potentially level up Moger to four. Um, get his defense even higher, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. I could level up Luden. Uh, let's face it, though, Luden pretty much sucks ass. Um, <laughs> and that would give me two Spear Masters. I don't need two Spear Masters. What about Irik? You're a Warden. Uh, what do you do? Grant an ally willpower. That's uh, really lame and stupid, so we're not going to do that. I guess I could just use Krumer um, as well, but would I rather have Moger? I don't think so. I think I'd rather have Krumer. Um, yeah. So I could put... Yeah, let's put Krumer in over Ivand. Is that the... That's, that's the real question. Do we want Ivand or do we want Krumer? Um... Oh, boy. What a choice, everyone. What a choice. Ivand or Krumer? I guess we could wait until the battle starts. Uh, but Krumer could be brought up to level 5, allowing him to smash armor more effectively. Um, but 
I could also use Ivand, who is already level 5. I think Ivand is better. Let's go with Ivand. And um, let's level up Rook. Let's promote Rook. Definitely. Yes, please. And um, Rook, let's get you able to spend 3 willpower and have a total of 5. Um, yeah. 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 That's it. That's the one. All right. Uh, as far as your items, plus three armor break, I think, is the way to go. Um, definitely. Alette, what item are you using? You're using uh, Alette's bracelet. Plus one armor, plus one strength, plus one willpower. Um, okay, no thanks. Uh, Ivan, what item do you have? Uh, the Bjarkin rune, dodge strength attacks. Okay. Um... Not spectacular. Hakan, what are you using? You're using Obsidian Powder. Uh, fragments of Shattered Dredge Obsidian carefully ground to a powder sometimes explode when attached to a weapon. Um, Hakan, you are going to take uh, the these Dunder's hands. Oh, no. No, you can only use level 4 plus 3 armor break then. Right? No, that's, that's Rook's thing. Rook... Put your plus three armor break item back on. Uh, although you're level five. So I could... I could give him the five ring necklace. Or the dunder's hand. Um, this is really good for him. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Um, Alette, you can keep that. Ivor, what do you have equipped? You've got knockback on attacks of three and plus one strength. Let's give you plus three strength instead. How does that sound? Does that sound nice? It sounds nice to me. Um, Hakan with the armor break. I like that. Although, Alette could have the armor break. Five, she could break eight armor. Um, ooh, that's actually a really good idea. Knockback on strength attacks of four. Now, let's leave it on Hakan. Um, that gives him five. Who would... I guess... Oh, gosh. I guess that Rook is kind of the best bet for the armor break. Cause he also goes first, which is nice, although his armor break is now four. He can spend three points of willpower, so he can break seven. Uh, he could potentially break nine. Ooh. That's, like, really good, actually. Rook, you're going to put that back on. Um, so... Or maybe this. Strength attacks of three plus one strength. I could have him knocking back all day. No. The Farthing Yord. And, uh, Hakan, I'm gonna give you the knockback thing. Uh, strength attacks of four. That's pretty good. Now, nobody is using the five ring necklace at level five. Trigby, um, maybe I should just give it to Trigby. Or Ivand. Ivand, yes. Yes, there you go. Okay. And Ivor, what are you using? You've got the plus three strength. Yeah, that's really, really good. Um, okay, good. I'm happy with this. Um, who shall we level up? Or shall we level up no one? Shall we go to the market and, um, and see if there's any item that we would like to purchase? Perhaps a level three item that suits us better? I doubt that there is a level three item that suits us better. Um, but I guess it's worth checking. To the market. All right. The world hook to armor break. Um, no. All right. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, we've got plenty of supplies. No reason to buy any supplies. So I guess we're gonna go and get an arrow made. Let's do it. Let's get an arrow made. It takes a while, but you finally find someone willing to craft an arrow. He eyes you suspiciously when you show him the silver, but shakes his head and gets started. Olette watches the smith's fire reflecting in her distant stare. And here comes, I'm sure, a conversation. All right. I talked with Ivan a long time while you were gone. He told me a lot about Juno. Is she really as powerful as he said? Um, it certainly seems that way. <laughs> that might be the most luck we've had so far. Dad, I think I know what's going to happen now. An arrow? She's going to make you shoot Bellower, isn't she? I don't know for sure. Come on, who else is going to do it? Ivor? Alette, I know where this is going. You're afraid of me dying. This isn't like before. We can't run this time. That's not what I... Let me do it. Um. No. Alette. <laughs> uh, I think Rook is better at it than you. Um, no. 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 I'll think about it. 
No, there's no time for thinking. What do you do when Bellower comes straight for the person holding the only thing that can destroy him? Let me speak. Everything's changed. Skoger feels so long ago. I'm not asking because I'm afraid of losing you. I'm not. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Let me do it because you know I'm a better shot. I have a better chance of puncturing his armor. We only have one shot. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not just some girl. I'm your daughter. I can do this. For once, let me decide. What happens to me? Um, why don't we just give it to Oddleaf? <laughs> She's, like, way better than, than either of us, apparently. But Rook's got, like, Rook has the best arrow. But no. Rook is going to do it. Rook is going to take care of it. I think. Um... I don't know. I don't know, man. Should she do it, or should I do it? Um... Alette. Alette, you can take the shot. She smiles and takes her hand in hers. We'll survive this. I know we will. You sit by her side silently until the smith finishes his work. All right. Alette's going to take the shot. And the reason I'm doing that is because Rook says everybody's going to come after that person. The person with the one weapon that can do it. Um... I would rather, like, protect Alette with Rook than protect Rook with Alette. That makes more sense to me. All right. Let's go. Let's do this thing. I'm ready. To the walls. To the windows. To the walls. Uh, there he is. Juno's in the middle of an animated debate as you approach, the arrow in your hand. There is little time left. Bellower knows we're here. Whether he is waiting for more of his forces to arrive or simply wants to starve us out first, I cannot tell. But he will not expect a direct attack. Is this a joke? How are we going to do that? I will take a handful of warriors to face him. I can keep a small group hidden from sight. The rest of you will lead the charge from here. With luck, Bellower will send his armies away from himself to meet you. What about the ravens? They may protest. They will not. I've arranged a task for them. Even if you make it to Bellower, what chance is there of defeating him? We can see what happened at Einartoff. That thing can't be killed. Juno showed them the arrow you had forged from the Godstone Silver. This will make him bleed like the rest of us. Once he is pierced, he will be vulnerable. She looks you in the eyes. We only have one. Do not miss. And bring only those you absolutely need. It will take all my concentration to keep the other dredge from swallowing us up. I cannot join in battle. And if we kill Bellower, then what? The dredge will just wander away? That is my belief, yes. I can't say for certain. This is a doomed plan. Help us hold out here until the ships are finished. And then what? Bellower will hound her every step all the way to Arborong, where I'm certain more Sunder await. Now is the time to speak to loved ones, and the memory of any god that pleases you. Rest. In the morning we slay a Sunder. Oh, baby. So, like, okay. Can the Sunder really not be killed? Like, can't we fucking dismantle him and store all the parts all over the fucking world? Like... Is that not an option? Why isn't that an option? Let's go fight Bellower. The silence is what you remember. You rise in silence and walk through empty streets. Upon the wall, two armies stand quietly watching each other. Your footsteps echo on the wooden floorboards as you approach Juno. She breaks the silence. It's time. Gather your allies. Today, one thing will end and another will begin, and our actions will decide on which side we stand. Yikes. That's an interesting way to put it, I guess. Um, all right. We're gonna fight Bellower. This is exciting. Ah, oh, this is super exciting. I've already built my party. My party is ready. Um, except I want Alette to be, uh, here. Um, and... Who had the big armor break? You've got 20 strength. Rook still has the big armor break. That's fine. Um, okay. Cool. And she's got a not bad armor break as well. Um, yeah. Trigvi's isn't terrible either. Okay. Um, actually, Trigvi... What is not being used? We could get plus one strength and give Trigvi knockback. Uh, that sounds like a, a better plan than plus two strength. Let's do it. Trigvi's pretty strong. Um, he'll have 13 strength. Uh, so I think that'll be useful. Okay, good. Great. Superb. Superb. Um, all right. We've got, uh, we could promote somebody. Um, I'm thinking, let's promote, let's promote nobody, because we could potentially promote Krumer and replace him with 
replace Hakan with him if it comes down to it. Alright, let's fight Sunder. Let's fucking do this, dude. I'm sick of waiting around. This has been a lot of nothing in this episode. I tell you what. And we need a fight. We need a fight right now. Let's do it. Fight, fight, fight. Go, go, go. Win, win, win. Go, team, go. Ra, ra, ra. Come on. <laughs> These fights take so damn long to load. Okay, there we go. There he is. We've spotted him. I've, I found him, everybody. I see him. Are we ready? Look, they're all fucking surrounding us. This is cool. Okay, Rook. Um, still your fear. Listen, I will try to guide you. Okay. Um... All right, we need a giant over here, please. That would be helpful. Thank you. And um, can we get you uh, over here, perhaps? Yes. And Rook, I'm gonna move you um, right here. And Trigvi, you stay put. Um, and Alet, um, you stand behind Rook. Good, good, let's go. All right, Rook. If I go here, I can hit this guy for some armor damage. Let's go ahead and do it. Six, nine. Uh, who's next? Oh, of course, Bellower is next. <laughs> All right. Um, well, he's not going to be able to hit anybody this turn, so that's fine. Um, let's go with the armor damage. Uh, and if we get nine, um, I think... Uh, oh, yeah, let's get nine. Let's get nine. All right. Nice work, Rook. Bam. Very good. Here comes a bellower. He bellows. Holy shit, dude. Come on. That's bonkers. Okay, Trigvi. <laughs> Trigvi, please move up. Thank you. And uh, just go ahead and end your turn right there, if you would. Um, this guy's going to go. We got to keep bellower weakened. His strength will return. Um... I'm going to move to here. Okay. And end the turn. We got to keep these guys alive. It's very important that we keep these guys alive. Um, okay. Who's who's next? Who's the next one to go? That guy. Okay. This guy's got 18 health, um, but we can do a huge amount of damage to him. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, attack, please. Uh, four, five... Oh, shit. That's not as much damage as I thought. Um, Sundering Impact... Uh, plus one strength, plus one break, plus one break. I guess we got it. Let's do it. Bam. Oh, it knocked him back. That's so good. That is so good. Okay. The armor damage has come through. He's going to do something. Some armor damage. That's fine. That's totally tolerable. Okay. Um, Alette, go ahead and attack this guy if you would. Uh, you can do six damage to him. That's great. Boom. All right. That's very, very nice. Um, this guy gets to go. He's going to come up and attack. That's too bad. Uh, only two strength, actually. The arrow cannot be used until his armor is broken. Fair enough. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be fine. Let's use arc lightning, please. On you. Yes. Good. This will do some good damage here. Bam. All right. Good. This guy goes. He can totally make it. That sucks. Uh, only one strength, though. Super good. Uh, Rook was stunned. That's a real bummer. Um, okay. How is this, this chump doing? Seven and five. Uh, we could kill him. We could totally kill him. Uh, I could also move all the way here, and I could do some armor damage to Sunder. Is that a good idea? I think it is. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, uh, don't fucking end your turn, though. I can tell you that much. Um, okay, armor damage five, right? Um, or should I simply attack this guy for seven? Let's attack this guy for seven. That's a good plan. All right, very good. He moves, excellent. Sunder. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Be quick, I cannot hold them back for long. Okay. Um... Let's move up here. Yeah, we might lose this fight, everybody. I think I, I failed to uh, to fully understand um, how this fight worked. All right, off you go, jerk face. 
Um, this guy goes... Oh, that's, that's too bad. All right. Uh, attack. Nine strength, ten strength. Let's get this guy. Bring him down to four. Boom. Very good. Okay. We need to get into Sunder and do some armor damage. Holy balls. All right. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Not going to be able to hit two. Um, okay. How are we doing health-wise? Let's see. Uh, this is perfect. Let's move you to here. And attack this guy for four. Bam. Okay, very good. He's down to one attack now. He's going to be able to do absolutely nothing. I love it. Very good. And you... Um, maybe we give some strength back. Or, uh, I think a better idea, let's arc lightning this guy again. I could move. He's only got one strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? That's how many it has. It's seven, right? Not six. It's six. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. All right. Abilities, Arc Lightning on this guy, level three. Uh, zappy, zappy, zap. I can't believe Trigby is already dead. That is so crazy. Um, okay, this guy's got nine strength, but he's running away like a baddie. Very good. That's really good. That's a used up turn. That's so good. Okay, Rook, get in there and start doing some armor damage to this mofo. Nine. So good. All right. Here we go. Uh, just armor damage. That's great. Um, this guy is going to come up, and he is going to straight up murder this dude. <laughs> That's fine. Um, attack and kill, please. That'll do. Boom. Okay. Good. This guy has only got two strength. That's awesome. Uh, he's laying down a... Oh, no, he's not laying down a bomb, apparently. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, we're really getting into it now, but that's okay. I think it's totally worth it. Um, we can't kill this guy, but we could potentially interrupt him. Uh, and I think that that's our best bet. Um, let's do three to him. Yep, get him below our armor level. That's really good. Okay, he's going to scream and push everybody back. That is fine. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. This is good. We're okay. Um... What is your most useful thing to do? Let's uh, move up, please. And, uh... Holy shit, I can silver arrow? Oh, balls. Okay, that guy's gonna summon somebody. Um, Alep, just end your turn, please. Alright. Uh, he's taking a little bit of damage, that's fine. And, um, why don't you... Repair some armor up there, would ya? Um, can I do that if I am right here? I'll bet that I can. Abilities, mend. Oh, I can do it from anywhere. All right, get your armor back there, Hakan. All right, he's got 11 armor now. This guy's got one strength, so he can do nothing. Okay, two armor. Steal your courage. You need only slay Bellower. Right. All right, here we go. Let's get here and attack Bellower's armor once again. Six more will be great. Boom! All right, so good. Uh, this guy has summoned his friend. Here we go. Um, I can get, I can totally kill this guy if I want to, um, but I don't think I want to. What I want to do, I think, is uh, fucking battering ram this guy out of my way. You battering rammed. Um, just level one is fine. Get out of here. All right, see ya. Good. Oh, man, they're really holding, holding, what are they holding over here? They're holding something over here. Um, it's good. Uh, he's taking a pounding right now. <laughs> okay. You cannot use the arrow until there is no chance of missing. So if I go here and I use the arrow, I think I can do it. Only possible when chance to hit is 100%. Let's do it. We got him. All right. Oh, he didn't like that much. He was not a fan of that at all. And, um, I'll bet he's gonna murder Izalette right now. Shit, he just ran right to her. Oh, no! Alright. Uh, so, this is no good. What's gonna happen to Alette? This is bad. 
Uh, look at that. The arrow's right in his heart. I love it. Um, she has been picked up like King Kong picks up whatever that girl's name is from King Kong. Um, he's going to carry her to the top of a skyscraper while punching down biplanes um, and, uh, and roaring. Uh, perhaps he's going to pet her, um, her hair a little bit uh, because uh, she feels soft on his um, calloused fingers. And uh, yeah, and then they're going to go away together and they're going to be friends forever. Okay. Well, Trigvi's back. That's good. Um, Alette, no, please help her. Shit, is she dead? Is she straight up dead? I think she's straight up dead. All right. Finish Bellower now. Um, where do we want to move these guys to? Um, Trigvi. Uh, we gotta get that stone singer. Oh, shit, dude. He's injured. That's the problem. Okay, that's all right. Um, Trigvi, please move to here, if you would. Actually, move to here, if you would. Thank you. Um, Rook, I would love it if you would just pop up here for a second. Um, right there is good. Or maybe he should stay on this side for the stone singer. Um... Let's go here. Yeah. Um, two giants. Uh, okay. One with higher armor. I would like you to be on this side. Okay. Um, you come a little closer to the middle, if you would. Thank you. And um, Trigvi, uh, you are welcome to actually come up to here, if you'd like. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's go. Here we go. Rook. Attack, please. Attack this jerk's armor for nine points, please. Boom! All right, so good. All right. Uh, he bellows. That sucks. But we are okay. Um, Trigvi has been stunned. That sucks. All right, this guy goes. Um, but this is gonna be glorious. Here we go. Attack for 12 and die, bitch. Bam! That was so good. That was so damn good. Okay, that felt nice, I gotta say. Okay. Um, 10 armor, 15 strength. I've got 16 strength. Let's do some damage. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Attack. Four, six, seven, eight, please. Boom. All right, very nice. And we knock him back. That's super good. Uh, right into um, Bellower, actually. That's great. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can hit him. All right. Special abilities, arc lightning on Bellower, please. Zappy, zappy, zap. Good. Good damage there. That's nice. Uh, he does get health back, though, it looks like. That super sucks. Okay, Rook. We got to do some armor damage to this asshole. Um, so let's go here. Yeah, let's do it. Right here. Attack his armor for eight points. Boom. Good. Trigvi's gonna get a go shortly, which is awesome. Uh, oh, nope. Trigvi's gonna die. That's fine. Uh, we can actually do a lot of damage to Bellower right now. Let's do it. Boom. He will get some health back, but I actually don't even mind. Um, oh my gosh. Alright. Attack. Um, Sundering Impact, maybe. Uh, or regular attack. Four, five... Yeah, let's do it. Bam. All right, good. He's down to three health. This is doable. This is super doable. I love this. Okay, who's stunned? Okay, he was stunned. Uh, he goes, but he can't kill anybody, right? No? No, he can only lay down traps. Fantastic. All right, Rook. Um, hit his armor again, would you? Uh, no. Move to here, please. And then attack his armor for six. Bam. Very good. And uh, he's not dead. He's not dead. But he's about to be. We're about to kill this chump. We're about to kill this fucking Sunder dude. This is awesome. We did it. Ah, in your face. All right. One renown. <laughs> and it was him again. He's now killed two Sunder in his life. How amazing is that? Um... Horns are playing. Everything is stopped. Nothing is happening. 
Am I... F okay, there it goes. I thought the game was broken for a second. I was real scared. I was scared, everybody. Super scared. All right, Banner Saga. Are we done? Is that the end? Have we completed the Banner Saga? I feel like we may have, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we may have. That's super good. That's great, man. All right. Alette, no, not her. Where are the menders? Rook, she is beyond their help. Stand up. You're only barely aware of the surrounding chaos as Dredge flee from Barra warriors who push their advantage. Bellower is dead. You are not. We must go. Let me carry Alette to Borsgard. We'll honor her properly. Okay. She's straight up dead, man. She's straight up dead. I let my daughter go to her death. It was my fault. It, that would have been much harder to kill Bellower without Rook, though, I gotta say. Uh, Juno was right. With Bellower fallen, the dredge flee. You return to Borsgard, but have almost no memory of doing so, aside from the image of Alette's still body being carried in Ivor's arms. Morale improved. <laughs> Come on now, really? All right. Morale improved. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess it makes sense. We did... The dredge are leaving, so we should have the time we need to finish the ships. I think you're right. The dredge don't seem interested in us anymore. Since Bellowa fell, they've been going their own way. The raven's been keeping the docks clear. Uh, Juno's talking to them about something now. But those long ships are ready, we'll be able to sail all the way to Arborong. With luck, before the darkness shows up here. How far south has its... How far, how far, how far, how far? Couldn't say. Hopefully not far. We'll get back... We'll get the prince back to his home, and Hakan has already decided to come with us. There's not much else to go back to. Do look up as you approach. Rook, it's time. Soon we'll be ready to leave Borsgard. Find somewhere safe. Our ship is done already. At the docks, I had it prepared for Alette. I'm not ready to see this. Come, Rook, it's time to honor your daughter. Okay. All right. I hope there's beautiful animations. There's some singing, though. Oh, my God. Look at how sad Rook looks. It, like, pans over, and it's actually Oddleaf singing this song. I'll bet that's what happens. It's it, it's obviously Oddleaf singing. Okay. So, uh, there she goes. Um, across the thing. Like, he's holding just, like, a stack of branches. Like, there's still some leaves on the top there, too. Look at all the stuff she's going away with. My goodness. All kinds of weapons, spears and shields. Of course, her bow and arrow. Her flowers. She's got to have her flowers, right? And it stops. Just stops right there. Thud. Okay. That was really sad. That was a super sad day. Um, I'm actually not totally broken up about it. I was not terribly attached to Alette, actually. Um, okay, anyway. Uh, across the, the lake we go. Well, across the lake she goes, I guess. This music is nice. This is a great image as well. I like this. Huh. Okay, I wonder how long this animation is gonna go. Cause I get the picture, Banner Saga. I get, whoa, she's, she's, she's in space now. What the fuck? Oh, like that's her traveling to the land of the dead maybe? That's pretty cool actually. That's a really cool transition, I like that. Um, it's awful dark where you're going, Alette. That sucks. I guess you weren't such a good person after all. Um, the fire has burnt out. Aww. And then it's just gonna like keep going and she's gonna it's gonna like go all the way around the world and like land right in front of Rook again. Um what is that? This is loud. This is the afterlife is quite loud, everyone. Alright. Got the moon, these weirdo trees, I love it. I gotta turn this shit down, dude. It's fucking loud. I, it's crazy how loud that is. How's it look on my game audio, I wonder? Boy, it's not looking great, everybody. It's really, really freaking loud. Like, crazy bonkers loud. I'm sorry it's so loud. I didn't mean for it to be this loud. Um, okay. Well, that was done. That that was a, a thing that happened. Hey, it's the end! Oh my god! Normal difficulty! I finished it, and that's it. What? What an anticlimactic ending that was. <laughs> Well, that sucks. I was hoping for more... Well, I guess there's Banner Saga... Banner, Banner Saga. I guess there's Banner Saga 2, um, if I ever want more. 
Um, I'm gonna pass on it for now. I liked this. I didn't love it. Um, like, the combat was cool and in-depth, but, like, I don't know. I wasn't super into it. I, I hate it. I hate a game that says it's better to severely weaken but not kill your opponents, even though they can still do some kind of damage to you when they're weakened. I don't like that. I don't like the way that turns work in this. I think it's lame that if you can have six people, let's say you have a six on six battle, and five of them, or four of them rather, on one side die, and the other two are unhurt. I hate the idea that those six are gonna take more damage from those two than they would from six people who have been severely weakened. I think that's really sucky and lame and unrealistic. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's all I'm saying. Um, I had a lot of fun in this game, though. Like, I understand it. Um, it's perfectly playable uh, in the way that it's set up. You just have to play it in a certain way. And uh, and I don't like that. I don't like leaving bad guys alive. Like, that's, that's not something that I want to do. And, like, you kill them all eventually anyway. It's not like you're weakening them and saving their lives. You're eventually killing them all. So, it seems silly to not kill them when you have the opportunity. Like, I don't know. It, it bothers me. It's, it, it, it's something that really bothered me about the, the combat in this game. Um, I thought the story was good. Again, a very anticlimactic ending. Just, okay, Brooke's daughter dies and he's very sad and that's it. Um, but whatever. Uh, the art is gorgeous. The art is absolutely stunning in this game. It's beautiful. Even just watching the caravans move across the landscape is really nice because the game is so pretty. I think that that is uh, this game's greatest feature is the beauty of the whole thing. The backgrounds were gorgeous. Um, even in combat, like the characters were, they were a little cartoony, just like the style of the game, um, and they looked really nice. There wasn't, there was like not really gore um, in this. Like everything was very kind of sweet looking um and that's it contrasts like what's happening in the world and i really really enjoy that um so that's something i loved i i, I really enjoyed playing the game i i gotta say i enjoyed it i just don't know if i want to play the second one maybe someday maybe if they release a third one i'll play the second one how's that sound um so oh look at this our kickstarter backers um <laughs> one of them is the rural juror i love that that's a 30 rock reference um Let's see, anybody, any other crazy names? Oh my god. These Kickstarter backers are gonna go on forever, dude. This is gonna go on forever. We're not even past A yet. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, I might... Oh my god, we're at A-H? Are you fucking serious? Um, wow. Okay, well, I, I loved this game, though. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I wouldn't say loved it. I did say I loved it, but that's not what I meant to say. I liked this game. It was fun. Um, the combat was solid. Uh, the story was solid. Um, the characters were, were good. I liked losing characters. Like, I lost a lot of characters. Uh, choices really did feel like they had consequences in this, and I, I liked that. I liked that a lot about this. Um, yeah, good game. Not a great game. A playable game. A game for strategy combat fans, strategy RPG fans, uh, for sure. If you're a strategy RPG fan, I think you'll enjoy the game. So um, maybe try out the Banner Saga 2. See what that's all about if you watched all the way through with me, uh, with me on the Banner Saga 1. And thank you for watching this all the way through with me if you did indeed do that. It's much appreciated. Um, I, I, I appreciate your viewership so, so, so much. As far as a rating for this game, I don't know. It's tough. I'm going to give it a... Um, I guess like a, a seven, maybe a six and a half. Let's go with a six and a half. Uh, we're going to go with six and a half. Oh, who was the kid uh, with the shield who, who got stabbed to death in the mutiny? Whatever that kid's name was. Six and a half, whatever that kid's name was out of ten. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna give it. We're still on A? Oh my god. Alright, everybody. Um, can I possibly skip this? Is it possible for me to... What? 
resume. Oh, credits? Ah, uh, okay. All right, so that's the credits. Um, if you want to see the credits, I'm sure you can find them online. Um, that's just way, way, way too much. Uh, resume? If I resume, does it go to credits? No. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I will see you next time. Um, yeah. I can't wait to play more video games, and I can't wait to do it with you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.